This is the new VW Touareg R, the sporty version of that SUV that directly comes as plug-in hybrid. Let's take a look at the details. For quite a while now we have been expecting the plug-in hybrid version of the most recent Touareg generation. Now Volkswagen R, the performance daughter company of VW, reveals it as the Touareg R. By the way, also with the new R logo. Do you like it or do you prefer the old one? To be honest, I do prefer the old logo with a simple strong R lettering. Just remember, that's the old one. The new one looks like a loop symbol with a slash underneath or something. Or am I missing a sense of art? The VW Touareg R is so to say top of the line or top spec. So it directly receives the otherwise optional LED matrix headlamps. It also comes with a black design package with stronger bumpers and dark accentuations. That black style design pack you can also get for other Touareg however. 20 inch are standard for the Touareg R, option you can go for 21 or 22 inch wheels. The R exterior pack overall includes R style bumpers in vehicle color, air intakes with black fins, black frames around the window and some R logos all over the place. The LED rear lights are tinted. You also receive widened wheel arches in vehicle color and trapeze style exhaust pipes. The color is well known for Volkswagen R and is called Lapis Blue Metallic. As you have already seen, we have also some nice drifting shots from the snow. That works because the classic permanent all-wheel drive system is rear wheel biased. As for engines, the Touareg R comes with the known V6 turbo petrol engine with 340 horsepower plus 136 horsepower from an electric motor, making a system output of 462 horsepower. Wait, you are so fast and diligent in calculation skills that you realize that doesn't add up correctly? True, because you cannot add that up 100% precisely because combustion engine and electric motor most of the time run at different RPM. The newton meter output, however, is 700 impressive. The battery, on the other hand, is just 14 kilowatt hours. That's tiny for such a big PHEV. Remembering the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid has 24 kilowatt hours, with around 80 kilometers electric range, and the Mercedes GLE even 31 kilowatt hours with an electric range of 100 kilometers. By this experience, the Touareg will rather remain at about 45 kilometers pure electric range. Still, it can tow 3.5 tons or 7,700 pounds. That's quite important to Touareg customers. Surveys say that even the majority of Touareg customers also uses the SUV for towing. In the interior, you get aluminum pedals, R entry badges, some R logos and head restraints, and so on, and contrast stitches. Unfortunately, Volkswagen does not know that much about sustainability yet. Therefore, they offer a PHEV model with animal skin seats only. Maybe take another school lesson with the Tesla Model X here. There are a lot of other features that come as standard equipment in the R version. The panoramic roof, 4-zone AC or the Innovation Cockpit, which consists out of the digital instruments in 12-inch on the left and the 15-inch Discover Premium Infotainment System on the right. Standard for the Touareg, you still get analog gauges on the left and the 9.2 inch screen on the right. The latter one I would actually prefer because it has the simpler software, but not available for the top spec Touareg R. They really want to go big on the digitalization in the Touareg R, also because you get special PHEV gauges like visualizations for energy flow, electric range or power output. You can also go into a battery safe mode for later emission free use and charge or sustain the battery on the motorway. Not efficient, but maybe at some point needed in city emission zones. So that's it for the new Touareg R. What do you guys think? We already have several Touareg reviews out there. Street, off-road, different engines and so on. You should check them all out. They will be linked in the video description and the pinned comment. And soon we can also take a spin in the new plug-in hybrid.